Hey everyone, it's Suzanne here. Welcome to another Monday Makes video on my YouTube channel and blog. For today's card, I am featuring the Hey Chick bundle and the Hey Birthday Chick bundle. I'll also be using uh, a new embellishment called the Paper Lattice and the Pansy Petals Designer Series Paper, the Gingham Parts. So here I am using Memento Tuxedo Black ink to ink up the bird images from the first stamp set, Hey Chick. Uh, I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm standing on basic white thin paper, uh, the thick paper I will be using for our card bases. These are the four first four images of the Hey Chick stamp set. And then the Hey Birthday Chick, this, what I'm using now, these four images. There's, um, they're really cute and whimsical and so is the font that is with the set. So I, and I really enjoy that because if you have a whimsical sort of cutesy like images, you need to have a font that goes, matches it correctly. So I'm gonna color these off screen and I'll be back to share with you how I die cut. So I'm taking one of these images and I've put my die over top of it and I'm using a post-it durable filing tab. You can find it at Staples and I find these really durable. They, they're better than washi tape. They don't stick everywhere just where you want it to and that orange part you can just lift off. They come in different colors and uh, Patty Bennett turned me on to this and I think they're great. So I'm sharing with you a little tip for die cutting. So here is my one inch strip, one inch by about five and mm, three quarters, I guess, uh, gingham paper that I got from the Pansy Petals designer series paper. I'm coming in about a half inch from the crease and I'm doing all six cards. So I'm doing a card set. So I've been watching this YouTuber called Joshua Alexander and he's a finger painter artist and he is also has a hobby farm and his wife Ashley she raises chickens and so when you watch their blog sometimes you get a real sense of what it's like to own chickens he for her birthday he built her a chicken coop and they're a couple from Edmonton and they're they seem to be quite lovely and I thought I would send her a set of these cards because I think that uh, she they really like chickens. So <laughs> hence the reason why I'm making a set of them. So this is the paper lattice embellishment and I cut it in half and then it just reminded me of the sort of the chicken run that, that uh, Joshua and Ashley have in their hobby farm so that is what that is supposed to be like it's a little reminiscent of this thing that that they built and they built it right on the um right on the video like right on their vlog I guess you could call it and uh so you feel like you're sort of a part of their trials and tribulations of owning a chicken a chicken uh coop <laughs> And of course he does a lot of finger painting and they have a dog named Hank and they just, they're these chickens of theirs, they're just laying hens, but they have all different kinds of chickens. They have the ones with the floofy feet and I, who knew that chickens like to dust bathe? I did not know that. So there's, um, and there is a reason for the dust bathing. So it's fascinating to learn uh, somebody from my country anyway, uh, he's like I said, a finger painter and I have some of his work now, which I'm really fortunate to have. Anyway, I will continue with the card. So what I do sometimes if I'm looking for the perfect uh, piece of paper for my sentiment, I just have a little cup here. It was a gift from one of my downline uh, or one of my team members, I should say. And uh, I fill it sometimes, you know how you make a couple of die cuts just to make sure so you don't have to go back twice or three times. Um, I always cut extra. So these uh, four were from uh, the ma many messages or messages uh, die, die, I'm thinking. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I did two happy birthday, two you're, a, you're still a spring chicken. And then the third one, um, I did two 
let's celebrate you, but I cut the sentiment up so that I can put them all haphazard on the cart. Because I do think um, if a chicken were to give you a card, it, it would be kind of maybe all over the place. <laughs> so I put dimensional adhesive on the back of the sentiment strips as I did with the chickens. And here is my haphazard um, chicken scratching, if you will, uh, sentiment from Let's Celebrate You. Here's where the happy birthday goes. And then this one says, um, uh, let's celebrate you again. And then, so I just had fun. You can see the, D the DSP from the Pansy Petals. Uh, they come with three different colors of gingham. I think that was, uh, this one is pale papaya. The other ones were fresh freesia and soft succulent. And I even went the extra mile here. Normally I don't, but I went the extra mile to stamp opposite uh, greetings on the inside. So when it says, let's celebrate you, I said, happy birthday on the inside and uh, you're still a spring chicken, happy birthday on the inside. And then on the happy birthday ones, I put, you're still a spring chicken. So I think that when Ashley, you can look on her uh, Instagram if you want to, I think it's Ashley Rose Alexander. Uh, you can Google search it or what have you. Anyway, you can see some of her chickens and that's where I got the guidance of how I was going to color the, the chickens here. And one, the final touch here is a little bit of uh, multi-purpose glue and I'm putting a dot down and then my linen thread tied in a bow uh, with long tails. I will trim them off after and uh, I'm just putting an acrylic block to give it some weight so that the twine actually sticks to the page. And then on, I did put Wink of Stella on my chickens and uh, of course, cause I couldn't help myself. And when I took pictures of it, because it was late at night, uh, the Wink of Stella really got uh, reflective. So if you find that you have too much Wink of Stella, wait till it dries. And then like I did, I think I might have just overdone it a touch with the Wink of Stella. I just took a white eraser and I just erased some of it away. So, which killed me almost, but then a happy accident that there's going to be Wink of Stella all over my eraser for my next mistake. Um, yeah, you can make really good mistakes when you have Wink of Stella, Stella trying to rub them out. <laughs> all right, so uh, you can get all the supplies I used today listed in the links below in the video description or in the supplies section of my blog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back very soon with another video and bye for now.